a very good morning to all looking at important headlines from the hindu newspaper for 27th feb on the front page you have india bombs jesh camps in pakistan's balakot so 12 indian air force mirage 2000 fighter jets unleashed five 1 ton payloads in balakot in pakistan so the location of balakot is also shown here you can see so this is india shrinagar line of control this is pakistan occupied kashmir and this is balakot here in pakistani territory so around 200 to 230 325 militants had moved there from the loc after the pulwama attack so government has called it a non military preemptive operation then next is india get support from australia france so was the air strikes we are getting support from several countries including australia and france and the opposition hails indian air force for the precision strike so congress president rahul gandhi has also praised the indian air force pilots for a, such a precision strike at balakot and pakistan slams aggression vows to hit back so pakistan has called it the cross border air strikes as uncalled for aggression and has promised to retaliate now then here you have supreme court to hear rafael review pleas in open court so the supreme court led by chief justice of india has posted the hearing of rafael for open court so open court hearing means all the arguments from the arguments will come out in the open so this is a review petition filed against the supreme court order on the fail in december 2018 and this is supreme court pitches for mediation in ayodhya case so supreme court has said that mediation the two parties trying to find a solution to the ayodhya land dispute is what is expected so it says yeah, the supreme court said give it a try even if there is only 1% chance of success then this is assam to cut pay of staff who neglect parents so state government has formed a three member commission to hear such cases on page 5 you have mudubalai forest fire controlled so now after round the clock hard work by about 300 people including locals and members of public to douse off the fire in mudubalai tiger reserve in tamil nadu now it has been stopped and below you have regarding bandipur fire too it is said over 15000 acres has been ravaged in bandipur because of the forest fire so satellite data shows greater devastation then on page 9 you have no toilet at home for paid women of oscar winning film so this is regarding the oscar winning short documentary period end of sentence so this is about a village in uttar pradesh how the women here came together uh, used a pad making anti pad making machine owned a livelihood earned respect plus also got feminine hygiene products for themselves and for the community so these women here they say they manufacture sanitary napkins in a small setup but then they don't have the they don't have toilets in the house how the two girls part of the revolution in this up village in katikhera they don't have a toilet at their house then below you have what action can you take against political parties so delhi high court has asked for the stand of election commission of india on what action it can take against political parties which do not comply with the instructions to disclose funding and expenditure details then this is declaring five year it returns a must for poll candidates so central government has issued a notification making it mandatory for candidates to declare total income as shown in the income tax returns for the last five years and this is world health organization ministry of ayush have uh, jointly held a conclave on yoga benchmark so this is a three day conclave you know, benchmarks for training in yoga on the editorial page the first editorial is pushing boundaries so this is regarding the air strikes at balakot so it says the air strikes have delivered a clear robust message 
the follow up must be restrained there should not be any follow up on this because it should be a one time exercise otherwise it would escalate into a war so this is the first editorial second is decolonizing chagos so this is regarding chagos archipelago we saw in the news yesterday the international court of justice gave its advisory opinion on the case that chagos island it belongs to mauritius and under colonialism it is still under british control so the editorial says that britain must honor the icj opinion on returning the island to mauritius the opened article here the first article is the new order in west asia so in west asia there are three prominent powers saudi arabia iran and turkey and they are competing for influence now to become masters in west asia and this is smart farming in a warm world so investment and policy reform in the article says are needed to on priority to help farmers cope with climate change then on opet page you have this interview with sheila dikshit former congress chief minister of delhi so then you can skip this article this interview then on page 13 you have detailed coverage on the balakot air strike the 12 planes logged on to the target here mirage 2000 fighters and this is regarding cautious china urges india pakistan to improve ties so india should have tapped international cooperation and avoided unilateral action which is is what the chinese representative spokesperson says and this is balakot camp had over 200 terrorists says officials the facility was headed by jm chief masood azhar brother in uh, azhar's brother in law yusuf azhar so this is the detail which has come forth on the balakot camp of jaisham then on page 14 you have Trump Kim arrive for summit. So this is the second summit between the two leaders, which is taking place in Hanoi in Vietnam. So the formal talks have focus on denuclearization. And this is May offers that is British PM Theresa May offers MPs a choice of ruling out a no Brexit deal. The Labour Party in UK is calling for a second referendum on uh, Brexit. Then on business page you have. RBI takes three banks off prompt corrective action framework. So earlier two bank, three banks have been removed from PCA. Now three more banks from uh, one. Uh, you can see these are banks from public sector. That is Allahabad Bank, Corporation Bank, and one is from uh, uh, private sector. That is Dhan Lakshmi Bank. So these three banks have been removed from the prompt corrective action framework so they had restrictions on lending etc because of their nps being high but now they have been removed from pca prompt corrective action there are another six banks that are still under prompt corrective action now and below you have mukesh ambani's first indian in top 10 rich list so his net worth is estimated 54 billion dollars Amazon's Jeff Bezos is at the top slot with 174 147 billion dollars net worth. Then on the last page you have how split sex insects and birds are helping science. So this is regarding split sex insects the, those who are gynandromorphs. So like this is a butterfly so this is showing the top left shows a male blue morpho butterfly and the top middle this shows a female butterfly so this is a male and a female butterfly and others are gynandromorphs so how they differ and you know what is all about it so this is being studied by researchers and that makes us understand this is also half chick half hen so it under, it helps us understand how human diseases and why some human diseases strike one gender more than the other and this is angkor did not suffer a sudden collapse so this is regarding angkor city the ancient city the capital of khmer empire so it is believed that it was invaded in 1431 by thai forces and that resulted in its end but now the study shows that angkor did not suffer a sudden collapse but the city declined gradually this is spoken of here so these are the important headlines so Angkor, you should know, presently is in Cambodia. 
it is there uh, the angkor wat temple is also famously there on cambodian flag too so the, for the detailed coverage of current affairs uh, as such can be availed on our website asia.com the monthly compilations too plus also the daily pdfs you can have the entire month's coverage seen here too also you can you can avail for a detailed current affairs course so the details of this course which is a video course providing detailed current affairs coverage is here also sample video is uploaded here so that is it thank you